Biden's immigration announcement is going to give green cards to half a million people in the United States that have been married to U.S. citizens. That's right. Half a million people, the government is saying, the White House is saying, are going to be able to get a green card. They're estimating there's that many people, maybe even more, that are going to be eligible for this program. In this video, I'm going to break down all of the requirements for eligibility, okay? And this program is for people that have been married to U.S. citizens and they came over the border and they've been here and they've been stuck and struggling out how to find a way to get a green card that doesn't require them going back to their home country overseas, okay? So this program is going to benefit maybe half a million, maybe even more, and their kids as well. Okay, so here's the requirements in terms of eligibility. So if you meet these requirements, you are going to be eligible for the Biden program for the green cards. All right. The first one is that you are a non-citizen spouse. That means you came over the border of a U.S. citizen. Okay, non-citizen spouse of a U.S. citizen. What does that mean? You know, because the process normally, if you came on a visa and you married a citizen, you can do adjustment of status and get a green card. But people that came over the border, let's say, you know, or without inspection, let's say in this requirement, 10 years or more, if they've been married to you as a citizen, you know, the, the requirement is that you can't just marry them tomorrow. You've been married as of June 17, 2024, and you've been in that real relationship, you're going to be eligible uh, if you meet the other criteria as well. The first one is non-U.S. citizen spouses who've been present in the U.S. and have, you know, 10 years or more in the U.S. So you can't come last year. You can't come yesterday. You can't come tomorrow. You got to meet that 10-year requirement. Be married to a U.S. citizen as of June 17, 2024. Number two, no disqualifying criminal convictions. What does that mean? Well, no serious felonies no aggravated felonies as well. And you can't have multiple crimes as well. So this is something to show that you're worthy of it. You know, that's one of the factors. I'll talk about that last one at the end. You know, so they want to give this to people who've lived lives, you know, clean lives, have no problem, have been hardworking, have been good community members. So no disqualifying criminal convictions. It's okay if you got parking tickets or small court appearances or small things that you got easily, you know, taken care of. Don't let that be a hindrance. Talk to an attorney. Number three, you know, the government's always about protecting the borders and protecting this country. Somebody who doesn't pose a threat, you know, to national security and public safety, and you have to pass a background check for that. That one's pretty straightforward. Number four, you have to be otherwise eligible for adjustment of status. So, you know, even if you came over the border, you know, even if you have no criminal issues, you have to be able to meet the requirements for it otherwise. You know, and what are those requirements? Well, number one, you know, when I work with my clients and I do adjustment of status and get people a green card in the U.S., the husband has to have enough money to be able to support his wife in terms of financial sponsorship. OK, so don't worry about that part. If you don't have enough money to support your husband or wife and you're trying to get them a green card, you can always get a joint sponsor. But the requirements for all those other things still apply. So it's not like, hey, we could just get a green card for free without showing any you know, income requirements or support requirements and so forth. OK, and number five, I mentioned this earlier. You have to have what's known as like merit favorable discretion. Favorable discretion is that just because you're eligible, the government, you know, was not going to just hand it out. You got to show, hey, this is a compelling case. You know, this person's lived in America for 20 years or 15 years. They have kids that are born in America. They go to school. They're an active member in their church, their community, you know, volunteer and do good things that would make America great, right? Make America better and so forth, all right? Now, the great thing about this program is that the you, the children... If let's say a woman came over the border from, I don't know, Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, and she had a young child with her at that time and he wasn't inspected as well, that child, you know, as part of the case under 21 is still going to be able to qualify to get a green card as well. So this is going to help a lot of young kids, you know, that came over with their mom or dad a long time ago and um, are going to be able to get uh, a green card through this process. All right.
Now, the beautiful thing about this announcement is that it's so encompassing because Biden wants to help families in America, but he also wants to help other people as well. So I'm going to touch up on some of the other major announcements that were tied into this as well. You know, uh, and again, this all goes back to how the Biden administration, along with Obama, were trying to help people, you know, primarily through DACA and allow young people to stay in the United States. OK, so, you know, on this announcement that came 12 years after DACA, President Biden said that he's going to allow people, you know, individuals, including DACA recipients and other dreamers who've earned a degree at an American institution of higher education. OK, and they've received a job letter, let's say an employment letter from U.S. employer to basically get a work visa. So, you know, I know, let's say some of the people who came on DACA, they didn't have the opportunity to, you know, let's say extend DACA or you know, get some sort of other protections. So this is going to benefit them as well to be able to work in America and, you know, contribute to society. And that's going to be really beneficial. There's other aspects, too, about this as well. Um, you know, the administration, that means the government, you know, Homeland Security is going to be allowing kids, you know, to, to work continuously and benefit this country as well. So there's a lot of announcements, but the big announcement's going to be you know, that they made about half a million people, guys, half a million people in the U.S. are going to be able to get green cards and live a normal life and come out of the shadow. So, again, if you're one of those people, you can contact us. I'm happy to speak to you and do a case evaluation, a case assessment to see how we could get you as well a green card if you've been here. Okay, thank you so much.